welcome back to my channel for another video so today we are doing another dubai property related video and we are heading over to our snagging appointment for the second property that we purchased in dubai was it the first or second i think this was the first it was the first property that we purchased but it's our se um, second property that we are getting handed over now since we've moved here and out of all of the ones that we have purchased and yeah we are excited because this is going to be our home that we're going to be living in inshallah it's a villa so yeah and hopefully you know we're going to check it out um, and as we explained in the, in the previous video that we did when we got our when we went to our snagging appointment for district one purpose of the snagging appointment is to um check everything within the property uh, check for any paint marks that you're not happy with any scuffs any maybe ac issues anything wrong with the windows with the locks you just want to make sure that everything is in the condition that it should be before you accept the keys Anyways, we booked a snagging um, specialist so a company that's going to come and do the snagging for us and just check the property so we're going to meet him there all right guys so we've just parked up had a quick look inside what do you think first impressions i'm quite happy with it to be honest I'm excited to hopefully move in but there's a few things that need to be fixed first So yeah, as you can see the property is in a nice little corner You have this area down there which is just leading to the side road and then we have another road here So location wise it's a very nice location Private location Private location As we walk in you got your car park for two on the side and then you got the main door. Open the door, my luck. Can go in. So yeah, they got these green decorations and whatnot. Nice big door. I like the door. It's nice and big. It's uh, and then as you come in onto your left, you have the guest bedroom and guest bathroom, which is quite nice. And then as we come down the guest bedroom guest bedroom and then you have a nice front area which you can do up it's a balcony they added fly nets here yeah there's one fly net here so yeah they added the fly net here this room is going to be Muad's playroom downstairs because i don't want his toys in the living room and the dining room so if he wants to play during the day got a nice little place over there to stack up all his toys Add some toys over here. Put some rugs on the floor for him. And yeah, it's a very nice little like, You know, one of those kids' um, sensory boards where you can add like water play table. I might add put the play water play mm. table that way as well, so you can just go out that way and play. And we got a nice little mirror right before you head out. Like today, I'm soaked in sweat just to wipe off the sweat before you go out. Yeah, nice thing. And then this is, you want to go to the living room first? Yeah, let's go to the living room. As you can see, this is the living room area. So you got this area separated into two. And we have the option of extending this door, uh, the sliding door outwards to generate a more squarish living space. Which we don't know if you want to do that because I really like this area where you can have your outdoor area and we do the pool up it'll be a nice place to sit down yeah. we'll move down here so this will probably be the living area and then we have this area which will be the dining area because yeah, big enough space to put like a big enough dining table for our family six tables even like eight uh, eight chairs if you wanted to and obviously you have a kitchen right nearby which is useful and then this area will TV unit, TV unit on that side. Yeah. Open up the door. Actually, yeah. Let's open it up. Might as well just show the garden area while we are at it. So this area is really big, quite massive. It's a um, nice place to add, like obviously seating area. Obviously in Dubai you have like half the year when it's really hot and then half the year when the weather's really nice. So you can enjoy it in the mornings, um, especially with Muad, he wakes up early morning, the weather's quite nice at that time. 
so it's a good area to get a good view of the pool and just you know get your feet wet in the pool while you're sitting here what i'm thinking is have the pool from here till about there and half of it will be shallow for Mu'ad to safely play in it and the other half will be deep and then on this side I was thinking to have the barbecue area either side the barbecue area with obviously um, an outdoor dining table I think an outdoor dining table would be nice um, or even like some outdoor seating and then you also have nice empty space to put grass for Mu'ad to just run around and play and you know if he wants to drive a little toy car or anything he can do that there and you also have space on this side as well so there's more than enough space for him to run around and play and also have his own pool and the other thing that you can also do is extend the living room area out up onto here so if you want to add an extra two meters to that living room you can also do it this way as well as we head back inside and let me just show you guys the maids area maids room right now as you can see this is the wound the laundry and washer area down here and then you have the maids room maids room which is over here you got your ac plus you got your maids bathroom and bathroom and toilet down in this section so yeah so this is down here let's head upstairs guys so as we head upstairs we have a nice huge glass which just brings in so much sunlight which is amazing i really like this window We've got some shelving storage down here and then yeah my like is already breathless i don't know how you're gonna keep up with this place but yeah we enter into this massive living area so this is why the living area downstairs so this is why the living area downstairs is not massive because in dubai the custom is that you have a downstairs living area and also an upstairs living area which is why I don't really mind that it's not a massive living area downstairs and I'm not really I'm not really fussed about extending it out as well because you know you also have the upstairs living area space you know what I mean yeah, yeah. This area is nice. you make a lot of use out of this you can even put a TV here as well you can make it to a fifth bedroom if needed in the future we definitely don't need it right now so yeah with the handover similar to d1 we have someone coming in showing us the villa we also have someone doing the scanning report which is going to be the snagging report he's also doing at the bottom again a big enough space to put sofas tv unit you know, if you really wanted to, you could make this into your office room. Office room, even. Yeah. This is a big enough space for that, a nice space. But I think we'll, we'll see. We'll see how yeah. how much space you need if you're going to have open up your separate you office as well. Yeah. From the living area, you also have the balcony, which is massive as well. Another really big area that you can make use out of. I'll probably use it to dry some laundry on. <laughs> it's a really big area. Again, you can make this into a play area for kids, put sand on it, put some water tables to play with. Whatever you want to do, you can, you know what, outdoor, indoor space, kids can make a lot of use out of. So that'll be, yeah, useful. Now you have the bedroom right next door. Again, each bedroom has an ensuite, toilet, shower, and sink. And all of them also have a ladybug. It's fine, a ladybug, it's not gonna harm me. But yeah, a lot of storage space. The rooms could be bigger if you get rid of the bathrooms. But the bathrooms are one thing that I think is needed, and they used really high quality material. A lot of the stuff here is from Italy and Germany and uh, like the tops yeah. 
Then we have another bedroom over here. So this will be Mu'ad's bedroom, which is next to the master bedroom. And you have a really nice balcony here as well. Massive balcony, definitely not needed this big. So we'll see that if we are able to extend this out to make the to make the room bigger, it's definitely possible. I, I think I know I think some guy has already Yeah, a few people have already got the approvals to extend this out. Yeah. So we should be able to extend that and if extendable you can even turn this into your office room. It'll be a nice big office room. So yeah, another bathroom over here. And as you can see, uh, same style as the other one. Then we go over to the master bedroom. Master bedroom. So with the master bedroom, this is also known as my bedroom because you have my massive wardrobe, walk-in wardrobe here. Which is gonna be is the maid's room on the <laughs> He's gonna no no forget the maid's room, you're gonna be under the stairs, but the under the stairs room. under the stairs storage room. Yeah. <laughs> like Harry Potter. I wanna live in the morning with myself. Okay, we'll see. Anyways, I love this mirror, like brown tinted mirror. It's not like a clear mirror, but it just looks so luxurious, really nice. And you have LED lighting in all of the wardrobes. So this is going to be for our wardrobe where all his shirts go and all of your trousers. Because you've got two beams across. And probably put my makeup here and skincare, hair stuff. And obviously I'll have my designer bags displayed over here, hopefully. And then you also have a really nice cupboard over here for shoes and also anything else like bags and stuff put a safe in there if needed definitely enough storage then it takes you on directly to the master bathroom which i absolutely love you have yeah the master bathroom you've got the double uh, mirrors double sink nice bathtub victoria and albert bathtub you've got a nice big shower this flipping shower is huge it's good for like three people to send you. I don't think people like this at the same time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nice big shower. Yeah, it's pretty good. Bello, Bagno design. I don't know that is Bagno design. So yeah, move forward into the master bedroom. Let's go in from the the area and then we have a nice space over here yeah a lot of sunlight coming in yeah a lot of sunlight you can see some people doing some work workers down there yeah it's pretty spacious bedroom considering that you've got a closet walk-in wardrobe plus a big bathroom and this leads you over into the shared balcony from the other room so yeah shared balcony pretty nice size over here as you can see it's uh, you can look at the pool when the pool is done right from the bottom you'll have a nice view over there of the pool I can just imagine I don't even know if anyone has done a pool here yet I mean they have they've got the yeah they've started getting approvals no one has done it yet And that is pretty much it and we just need to show you guys the kitchen yeah so my biggest fear with this house my biggest and only fear is the stairs with Moab like because in Dubai you have like really hard I don't know what this is called what's the material of the floor ceramic I think it's ceramic isn't it ceramic really dangerous if a kid falls and hits their head or bangs the the corner of the stairs you're gonna have to take a trip to the hospital so that is my biggest fear directly down the stairs and you have the kitchen so the kitchen is decent size for what you need it for um, it's not like you're gonna cook anything yeah uh, <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> yes. yeah, so really nice storage over here look at that yeah, 
nowadays they're making the kitchen smaller and smaller because they realize that people are not cooking. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and no, no, show to show food. this how cool this is, it comes all the way out. What the heck? So it makes use of the whole Whoa. space. This is what they needed to do in D1. Yeah, that's weird. I no, but, I no, but it's needed because it basically because you can't reach there, isn't it? Anyways, we're gonna probably head out soon because Muad's in daycare. We left him there because we knew that if he did come with us. It's gonna be a massive problem. Like he would have been in chaos right now. We wouldn't have been able to look at everything in detail. And yeah, we should be back here maybe about a month, hopefully, inshallah. If yeah, if they do all the snagging bits and bobs, I think they really picked up the pace now. Like this property was supposed to, we were supposed to have this handover appointment in January. Now we're in May, which is about five months after and yeah there's some del been delays but this is expected in dubai like to be honest i was expecting it more to be like one year delayed because our other property was delayed by more than a year so yeah considering the fact uh, that it's only been six months not too bad so if we get the keys in about a month i think it would be good so yeah. do another vlog hopefully when we get the keys and the next vlog is mostly also going to include the interior designer, um, the pool landscaping, all of those ideas of this place, of transforming this place hopefully into something a lot better and a lot of money to be spent. So yeah, that's it guys. Hopefully if you like, you like the vlog, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, do all of that stuff and then we'll catch you on the next one.